Welcome to the Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be reviewing how to create an ONDOT random pool. During the tutorial, I will refer to the Employer Solutions Portal as ESP. We will begin by logging into ESP. At the login page, enter your username and password and click the secure sign in button. After successful login, you will see the dashboard for your organization. If permissions are enabled, you will see the Randoms menu on the left navigation. Select Randoms to navigate to the Pool Summary page. All random pools created in your organization will appear on the Pool Summary grid. To create a new pool, select the Add Pool button at the top right corner of the page. All required fields on the Add Pool page are indicated by a red asterisk. Enter a unique name for this pool in the Pool Name field. In the DOT Regulated field, select the No radio button. Use the drop-down list to select the selection interval. This is the frequency at which selections will be run. Select the radio button next to the appropriate selection rate. You have the option of using an annual percentage or a fixed number per period for selecting pool members for testing throughout the entire program period. The program start date field will default to the current date. This field may be changed to an earlier or a later date to start the random selection for this pool. The program end date will default to the last day of the current year. This field may be changed to an earlier or a later date to end the random selection for this pool. ESP will use the entire program period and the selection interval defined to create the algorithm for choosing the appropriate percentage or number of selections for this pool. If random tests were completed for this pool in another application prior to ESP, enter the number of drug and or alcohol tests completed in the following fields. If a random pool program start date is later than the first day of the calendar year, these fields will be required. Zero is an acceptable entry if no testing was completed for this pool prior to its creation in ESP. Number of periods run is not a required field and is purely informational for you. The non-regulated accounts available to the user are presented in the Available Account Selection box. Select the checkbox next to the account that will be used for this pool and click the double greater than button to move the account to the selected accounts box. Only a single laboratory testing account can be associated with a random pool. The order code or codes associated with the account selected is presented in the order code section. Select the radio button for the order code that will be used for testing when members are selected in this random pool. Select the save button to save the pool and return to the pool summary grid. The newly created pool will now appear on the grid. Select the plus sign next to the pool name to expand the pool and begin managing your non-DOT random program. This completes this Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial.